Probably one of the weirdest things of, of Laurel is 4th Street, towards like where the, the town center, which is next to our shopping center. Um, there was Laurel Sanitarium. And in 1906, Laurel Sanitarium was built. It was a pretty small hospital. It was um, founded by um, Dr. Coggins. There was a hotel that was on Main Street that they had put on telephone poles and they rolled it to Laurel Sanitarium and they built off of it. Probably, I think it was in the 30s, 40s, um, they stopped doing kind of the sanitarium kind of stuff and they turned it more into a geriatric center. So th there's so much sadness coming from that area that's connected to our property, kind of. Um, you can find um, photos of the shopping center. You can see sanit the sanitarium literally like lurking in the background, always. Good evening, ghouls and goblins, and welcome back to Laurel's House of Horror for something completely different. We are here tonight for our very first ever paranormal ghost tour. Now, full disclosure, we've never done anything like this before, and the reason we've never done anything like this before is because we are what those in the paranormal community might refer to as skeptics. We largely trust our ears and our eyes, and if we haven't heard or seen paranormal activity for ourselves, we tend not to acknowledge it. Having said that, there are a lot of people here who believe that Laurel's House of Horror is genuinely haunted. So tonight, the influencers are opening themselves up to influence. Our promise to you is that if we don't see or hear anything, we're not gonna pretend that we did. But if we do see or hear something, you'll be the first to know. We've been lucky enough to walk around the maze and the building a couple of times by ourselves and at night, and it's always creeped me out, so I know I'm gonna get scared out of my shoes no matter what happens. Yeah, this building and this haunt also have a tremendously creepy history, which we're gonna be hearing a lot about tonight from our tour guides. To me, that would be worth the price of admission on its own. One way or another, I think it's gonna be a fun, spooky January evening. I'm Tim. I'm Katie. And we sometimes do things like this. Last year, we purchased this Phasm camera from Ghost Stop online storefront. Uh, it's actually been very useful for us in capturing low light as a night vision camera, but it was originally designed for the purposes of capturing ghosts. Tonight we're gonna to be using it for what it was actually designed to do. So where we are actually standing right now, um, it was just an uh, empty auditorium. We kept, we stored stuff in here. So, so this is where we kept all the props. I came in, started grabbing some stuff, and then I see at the bottom, which is the screen, and I see a silhouette of a person at the bottom of the screen, and then I see the silhouette of a person like jump onto a screen, and then it expanded. And by that time, I had flown out, the, <laughs> flown, flown out of the auditorium. I called her, I'm like, I need someone here with me at all times. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> We're about to go ghost hunting. What's that, Carrie? Because uh, Matt took our speaker. So I bought a speaker and it's... We got our retro speaker. Oh, that's yeah. a retro speaker. That's... Right? right? It's cute. cute. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first time it is without any sound. sound. Yeah, no music loops. It's a whole different vibe. Yeah. For better or for worse, the smell is part of the experience. So is the majority of the experience actually in like the haunt theaters itself? No, it happens everywhere. Um, concessions used to be kind of like home base and a safe camp, but we've been having the stuff happening up there. I've had quite a few up in the room. Yeah. yeah the front's been pretty active. Place is safe. Getting ready to set up camp. First hot spots. We've got First some five, readers. One, two, Three, four, five. Yeah, five, four. Here's the button. Turn it on. Mm -hmm. After you set it down, you want to hit the middle button four times. Okay. After you set it down. Okay. I low key feel like I'm in Ghostbusters. What is this one for? So those are ghost balls. So I think so. They have to literally be touched for the light to go off. Okay. Okay. So if we leave them sitting there and do not touch them and they go off, something's touching them. Something is touching them. Um, the REM pods. These are fun. They literally, I mean, you see how close I got to be to make yeah. it go off. And like, they got to almost be touching it to make the purple go off. So a lot of times if this starts going off, we'll ask questions and sometimes they'll light different colors. Um, when they're, this is going off, something's pretty strong with us. Mm -hmm. It also will go off if the temperature starts dropping pretty quick. So this is the butcher room this is the first stop on our tours um it's a nice little introduction for what's to come during the night we found that a lot of the good spirits here like to hang out in this room um you'll notice once we leave this room things tend to get a little darker so we like to visit here and see what we get in here before we move on to other hot spots okay. and it just gives customers a little 
they feel a little good warmed up before the big show. <laughs> So. Uh, during the orientation, um, the front door swung open and it swung open like somebody pushed it open and I asked the owner when she walked back in the door if um, the door was automated and she kind of laughed and she was like, no, it's, it's not. During one of my first nights as a scare actor, I walked to my scene and I went to put down my bag. And when I was bent over putting down my bag, I kind of glanced up and there was like a six foot man standing in the doorway, but it was just the shadow of a man. And it was there for a few seconds and then it was gone by the time I like had fully stood up and been like, what am I looking at? Is anybody with us? Nice. They do have lights. That, that said lies. I was like, yeah. no. <laughs> Just like that. Playing a little song over okay. there. It's really good. Thank you for coming. Okay. We have noticed that some of the things that are in here, they've been a lot lately when we're in this room, like beckoning us to come to areas that are a lot more spicier than where we are right now. Um, and another thing that we feel in here quite often actually comes from that way, but it's like air that will rush from like this door towards the exit sign and out. So we think it's just the perpetual residual energy is coming in and out like it would for the theaters because this is was a legitimate concession stand at the time which is why it's modeled this way that it is so it's just like That's people cool. coming in and out getting snacks going back to the theaters kind of deal his voice what my voice which voice i was religious we're in trouble then temperatures dropping in the hallway oh it's going off in the hallway that's that really one, good. that one's been silent. Can you tell us who's in the hallway? They will at times like surround My you. My name is Joseph. Oh. Hello, Joseph. Okay. A lot of times we have to change the batteries because they drain them. I was gonna say, is that pitch or is that? They have fresh again. batter. Everything has fresh batteries in for it to make case. I'm freaked out. Freaked out, y'all. Am I alive? Bad news. I'm sorry to tell you, but if you're talking to us this way, you are no longer alive. And it's really cool when these things will start to sync up with each other. Mm -hmm. That's always a treat. Um, when they start talking to one another. <laughs> spirits are frightfully sensitive well, to bright light. The good news is we're light. close to 11 o'clock, and you're going to see this building's going to take on a whole new beast at that time. Most frightening thing was seeing this thing go off way out here. But then, just like genuinely. Stay out the woods. Okay, I know, I got you. I'm gonna stay out the woods. I'm, 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 I understand. Back off. You can hang out in here. Can you make the blue light go off out there? Um, it's trying. There, it's blue. I've had kind of paranormal experiences before, and I thought I was pretty prepared when I walked in here. Maybe a little too cocky, to be honest. I was honestly really surprised, um, despite my previous experiences, like. Again, thought I was super comfortable, but it was just, we ran into the boy. And I'm not a huge fan of the boy still to this day. The boy likes to hang out under the table and wound up actually attaching to me. Imagine like you're at the gym and they stick that little stick down through the weights and they just build it, build it, build it. That, but from like zero to a hundred. It just feels heavy and like a leech almost. It feels really, him specifically, he feels very, heavy and solid. I'm not a crier. I wound up openly sobbing in front of these folks that honestly I really didn't know that well at the time. Usually I can handle it. I could not handle this by myself. My stomach. I don't know why it's spelled like that. That's very weird. Change in location. Yeah. Yep, I got you. Can you not hit the piano? About did you uh, <laughs> did you have a small panic attack? Oh, High sensitive the to are So we're not a hundred percent sure whether these lights were left on or whether they were turned on after they were turned off. What's that the cat ball? Cat ball's going on in the cat ball? Oh, is it? Are we walking through? They're already making their presence known. Oh no! Uh, There's ghost toilet paper on my shoe. Up at the top. 
top of the uh, the doorway into the oh, theater. Okay. Oh, Long Johnson. <laughs> I haven't heard that forever. <laughs> that corner over there, too, is where I uh, got pictures from before they told us to take pictures in here. We walking around, people were just snapping. And I took one picture and I was like, all right, let's try this. I'm gonna give you guys a countdown, three, two, one, and I clicked again. And in the picture, you can see fog hanging out about like the chest and head height for me, like over in the corner. So without moving, I snapped another picture, didn't say a word, then gave him another countdown. So a fourth, and then again, it showed up, but it only shows up on the pictures in which I gave them the countdown. This, okay, I am thoroughly convinced that this Toilet paper or something or other is a little makeup wipe plug. It's it's just it's it's following me <laughs> everywhere I go. I mean I'm not gonna wander too far from the group because I'm not an idiot, but um, there, there's a back row right to the left. Very Sorry. Which one is that? You gotta tell me which one that's coming from. I don't want to take directions from the boy. Okay. Is that you? No. My name is they need more energy from your Did piano you playing. Bro, I... Is that... This is a spare box. That was not... That was not the radio? No, they will talk through it. Device? That device is a spirit box. You're able to talk into it and we can hear you as you see through the, the radio frequencies. So we can hear what your voice may sound like. Sarah. Sarah. No? <laughs> With you? Yes. By myself? No thanks. Man, my eyes have not adjusted. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's something there. It's a rope. Yeah, so when I was sitting here, when the lights got ripped down, I, uh, I damn near jumped out the seat. I would. Is that you? Did you bring your phone up here? No, my phone's down there. I heard a voice back here. Unless if it's... Okay, well yeah, that my was... Phone's down on the piano. That was interesting. Religious. That's a, been a popular communication today. Maybe it's like uh, Altered Carbon, and it's asking, Are you a believer? Are you a believer? We're like, all right. We're probably on our way, homie. So, the actress in here... Touch you. No, thank you. Please don't. <laughs> Um, the actress in here always talks about the mannequins morphing, their faces morphing. All right, so we're now in the dressing room, which is where we meet Miss Laurel during the haunt. And we have heard tell that these mirrors can be tricky. Yeah, I know, huh? it's me. <laughs> it's me. Hi. Hi. I'm the problem, it's me. That flashlight is on now. Yeah, that, that one goes off. Oh, they physically have to touch the flashlights to make them go off. Hitting it the does nothing. You have to actually the go off. Oh, turn it. you have to twist it? Again? Yeah. No. It has to twist. It takes a little bit to make that thing turn. It's a little bit of a grip. There we go. Yep. And we just leave it out for them and they do what they do with it. Please go right. We know. <laughs> Dude, it. It's like, this is on the fads on this. I think this room is the creepiest so far. <laughs> because of all the mannequins. Well, mannequins and then and yeah. it's just, it's just, and the you can, we'll, well, it's you. funny because it catches the uh, uh, love me not writing on Where the- Where are my children? Uh, I, <laughs> dude, there is so much cold air coming from in here. Yep. Yep. Are the, the first time that flashlight <laughs> ever turned on was... Wow. I was like, that is the most loquacious ghost we've had so far. <laughs> We're deliberately playing some music that supposedly causes some responses. Can you make the flashlight go off again? <gasps> Wow, that it was... literally went off. Well, oh. oh, and then it went on. Can you turn the flashlight off for us? Thank you. Okay. Can you turn the flashlight back on for us? 
please. I'll keep playing Patsy Cline. First time I was about to walk into the haunted cell. All right. Someone out here is going off. Yeah. Now they're waking up for it. Oh, and there's a flashlight. Nice. Flashlight's on. Flashlight's on. Oh. Is it 11 o'clock yet? It's way past 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's probably almost midnight at this point. Yeah. Okay. It just got so cold in oh, here. Oh, yeah, I just got a blast. Like, so cold. Oh, that's... The corner. Go, that's the hot seat. I'm gonna go to my usual seat, which is next to the hot seat. Lively little cat ball in here for you. Oh, oh it still works. Already freaking out. Um... So... This is by far one of the coldest places in here. We're assuming that with the portal being right here, you're feeling something come in or out of it as it goes by you. So if it gets randomly like really cold when it's already cold, that's generally what we believe it is, just coming in and out. I have a little bit of attachment to the cabinet. Um, I've put everybody's hair in the cabinet. The cat ball's going off. We have found out, because there's no stamp, no furnishing markings on the cabinet, but it is a 1920s radio cabinet. Mm. We're still trying to do as much research where it came from. It came from the same place the vanity and the dressing room came from. Hello? Cat ball's going off. It's over there too. We show as lights. We show as light? We show as lights. Is somebody messing with the door? No, the cat ball's going off. Yeah, that thing had been going off this whole time. It would be dead by now. I think it's left on for like three minutes. Okay, so don't look back. Um, <laughs> if you, well, you're, okay, your legs aren't under the table. Um, oh yeah, I've heard enough about the table. <laughs> <laughs> so what she's gonna do now, she's gonna hook headphones, noise canceling headphones. Why are you here? To talk to you all, like we always are. <laughs> and she's gonna use the noise canceling headphones through the spirit box to basically do what we just did in theater on the headphones so she won't be able to hear us whatsoever she will also cover her eyes so that she can't see anything that we're doing to try to read or anything i'm taking this one ear off are you ready yep we're good we got the time marked don't disrespect us we won't we're always that's, respectful to you guys when we're here. that's ominous mabel oh we're starting with mabel great Constance. Actually. Hospital. Hospital. It sounded like something dropped and bounced almost. Shut up. Yeah, I know. You guys want us to talk? The first thing we heard was nobody talks to us. Her voice. To you. Party trick. Okay, what? What did you... You heard that one too? Yeah. Yeah. It was like scratching. Watch this. What are we going to be watching for? Which direction are we watching in? Frank. Okay. Okay. I told you. That's the first lights you, up we've seen you, since you definitely under. told us to watch that and that was impressive was spot on that was highly impressive thank you guys this is pretty cool you said watch You're this welcome. <laughs> are you kidding me please take care when i tell you they're sassy in here and they respond quickly yes are you kidding me time. all right i'm gonna pull mandy out of this now is there any last no things? yes uh, i have to pull her yeah. out no yep there is no choice in this. I'm pulling her out. I'm gonna pull her out now. No fun. Uh, we've had a, quite a bit of fun in here. Any last minute things? A couple steps of wood. Okay. See that? that <laughs> go to hell. Oh. Okay. Hey, All right. Pulling yeah, you yeah out. let's get her out of there. Hey, um. We're done. <laughs> the f man. That, that took a turn. So after that terrifying little excursion, we're now on to the most terrifying part of our entire evening, which is the private. Just us sitting here in the casino by ourselves, waiting for something to find us. I'm gonna turn this 
Just, just enough. So it's not on. So it's not on, but it could be easily turned on. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm not asking any questions, I'll yeah. tell you that. Alright, because it is 1.30 in the morning and we need to get home at some point, and also because we are utter chickens, we are setting a 15 minute timer. That is how long we will be in this room by ourselves with our little REM reader. It's very quiet. Some would say too quiet. See, now my thing is, if I come over here with this thing, it like doesn't sense, and I don't know, like maybe this thing does need to be like physically touched in order to register, cause it, yeah, it is responsive. What about this? Chirp, chirp. That could definitely be water dripping from the ceiling or something. I didn't hear it. It's just the same sound we keep hearing. Wait. Are you really not hearing the like rhythmic thudding? Okay, I was hearing that a little bit. It sounded kind of like a like a very low purr. Yeah. Well, no, that's not what I was hearing. Well, it's like it's, it was like it was like. I'm hearing it right now. And that is a wrap. Well, we just did a cleansing ritual to make sure we had no hitchhiking ghosts following us home. And look, we got complimentary stickers. So we are now back in the car. Didn't want to do a wrap up in there because it is almost two o'clock in the morning. We're cold, it's raining, we need to get home. Some thoughts. When you first start, like everything is scary. Everything is scary. It got less scary and more like whimsical. Yeah. And then there were some things that were definitely a little bit intimidating, yeah. like unsettling for sure. When Mandy went under Estes and you know, watched this and then instantly all up. of the things started lighting up like across the room from one another. That I think was the creepiest piece of the entire evening. I can see where the allure is for yeah. people who are paranormal enthusiasts. And if you are, you should check out Laurel. I think Laurel's is a great haunt to come to. I mean, there's definitely, as I said, there's stuff that happened tonight I can't explain and I'm not gonna try because that would ruin the fun of it. There are ways to debunk some of the stuff that we saw and experienced tonight, but as I said. What's the what's the Shakespearean quote? There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt, dreamt of, of in, in your, your philosophies. philosophies. We hope you've enjoyed this very unique video from Tim and Katie. It probably won't be a regular thing, but if it was going to be a first time thing, there was no better place to do it than Laurel's. So thank you again to the Laurel's House of Horror staff for hosting us and giving us this kind of introductory experience. Until the next time, guys, I'm Tim. I'm Katie. And every night is a new adventure. Except it's already morning. <laughs> we'll see you again real, real soon.